Hi, good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing today on this fine Saturday morning? I'm in Houston, Texas. This is Tara McKinney with Crawl Marketing and Promotion. It is raining. It's supposed to rain for a few days. Houston is well known for flooding, to my understanding. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Everyone remains safe. Today is a very monumental day. Um, two things happened today. Oh, actually three. One, the first thing is my website has been updated. Every month I update my website and uh, the homepage normally ties into some type of job or occupation or maybe a holiday. This month's theme is Cinco de Mayo. So make sure you go there at crawlmarketing.com. Also, um, the second thing is that ha happens today is um my newsletter for may is out and we're going to focus on that today this is the reason for this video it is on focus groups and the third thing that happens today is my new magazine mom mothers of mahogany magazine came out it is a healthcare magazine for women of color of every ethnicity uh out that up uh, that is of color whether it's african or Native American, uh, East Indian, Taiwanese, of color. Everything that ties into different issues that deal directly with women, uh, maybe pregnancies and our things that our bodies go through that may be different from other people. Diseases that plague our communities solely, our communities or affect us mostly. So that came out today. So yay, my magazine is available on my website. You can click on the link. It goes to issue.com. I think it's I-S-S-U-U, -S -S Crawl Marketing. Um, so just look for it and I hope you enjoy it. It's $1.99 for a digital subscription and the print copies or $4.99 and all of that good information and good stuff will be on the website very soon. So thank you and welcome to my fifth issue of uh, my newsletter. This is for May 2021. Again, our primary focus is going to be on focus groups and how they can help companies, businesses, you, agencies, nonprofit organizations assess how people feel about their products, an idea, a service, um, a promotion, a program, different things like that. A focus group is just mainly a group interview uh, about maybe five to ten people um, according to what the, the topic is and what the needs are for the persons who want to employ the focus group to put it together. Um, so there are specific questions that are asked. They're open-ended questions and some of those questions may be difficult to answer when it's just one person running the business or two people trying to make a decision or maybe a small group of people who are trying to make a decision a focus group is also is often very useful for um entities who are trying to solve a particular problem or problems uh, so it's you know it's, it's primary research it kind of digs deep it's according to how much you want to go into it so this month is just focused on th that type of research is qualitative meaning uh, it's measurable by numbers because you can could do percentages of what how many people answered this way or at how many people uh, responded that way and things like that so it's a very strategic way to get some organization to help you focus and stay focused on your ultimate goal so yeah we're going to talk about um focus group types, what they are, and some pros and cons. So focus groups help you stay focused. Again, it's about six to 10, five to six to 10 participants. You wanna measure consumer attitudes, their beliefs, systems, their um, uh, reactions or responses, how they comment. And you want to kind of gauge it and actively listen so that it can help you draw a rational conclu conclusion later on after you've got, gathered all of the data you need. And sometimes focus groups even show you what data you might, what more data you need based on some of the answers that you that you have gotten from the participants. Uh, so feedback is very is a very big part of this um, type of research. 
how do you choose your participants? Well, the group should be similar. This should be similar in age, uh, occupation, education, ethnicity, perhaps, if that's if that's a thing for you. Um, but mainly it's, it's to help companies who are struggling with something that may be specific to them or that may be problematic. Uh, it, it These people have specific qualities or traits that are aligned with the question or the thing that needs to be addressed. So there are three types that I describe in this. There are several more, but I, I picked out three that I'm most familiar with um, in marketing, academia, and things like that. So the fir fo first is a two-way focus group. The second is a dual moderator focus group, which means there are two moderators. And then the remote focus group, which is kind of what we're doing now. Zooms, Teams, um, you know, Skype sessions, WebEx, things like that. Those are most of the traditional techniques for those groups. Uh, again, those telephone anonymity, um, the person can just respond and hopefully they'll be less biased and more honest because nobody knows who they are. Um, so yeah, again, I don't know, focus group, group, group could be a child care issue that needs to be discussed and the parents who have special needs children want to meet with faculty and staff or maybe some counselors to see what is best, what, what may help. So both sides are able to be heard. The parents are able to be heard and the faculty, staff, counselors, uh, medical, whomever they're listening and paying attention attention and so that they can help this group as best they can based on what they feel their needs are so yeah that's just one example attorneys use it too i've I participated in a few focus groups for attorneys and uh to help them with like opening statements and things like that so they are very important but not all the time sometimes you don't need a focus group so i also outlined some of the cons those are some of the pros uh some of the cons are they are expensive because uh, it takes a lot of time to get them together. First of all, they may, the company may go through an employment agency. Well, they gotta pay the employment agency to find those participants that fit their criteria. So they can get really expensive. They can also be timely. Um, some pay, they might take all day long for a whole week versus a paper survey that takes, I don't know, three to five minutes maybe. Um, Another thing is some participants might want to get paid, and that's another expense. They may not participate unless there is a fee for their time. Uh, let's see, what else? They may, some people may find it difficult again to be honest and to be open and to express themselves in a way that is not in a bias, that has no bias in it. Some people just may not be used to that type of platform or format. Um, or they just that just might be part of their character. Although they have specific traits that blend in with the other group members, it might just be specific in them that being open and honest about, especially if it's something sensitive, maybe like LGBT issues and concerns and things like that. They may not want to speak on it openly, um, and it might not be good for business to business research. B two B might not be helpful. Uh, it might be better to just hand out samples, and then pay attention to observe the inflow of people to that particular product or that particular service. All right, so again, this is Tara. I'm with promarketing.com. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. Again, we got the website has been updated. The newsletter is out on focus groups, and so is my magazine. Again, if you go to crawlmarketing.com, click on the link, you'll see it in the yellow circle on the side, and you click on that, and it'll take you directly there. And again, if you would like to view the entire magazine, feel free, the cost is $1.99 per issue, and very soon we'll have how much subscriptions cost and everything like that. But again, just like with focus groups, I did, took my time to make create surveys. I posted them on LinkedIn and in other websites, uh, social media sites that I've that I'm on and just to kind of see, just to kind of gauge my audience opinion. I also ask questions, you know, from my friends and family, associates, 
the, my nail technician lady <laughs> to kind of see where they stand on how they would feel about having a magazine that is solely specifically directly about and for women ethnic women so thank you crawlmarketing.com i appreciate everything thank you so much and i hope you have a wonderful saturday stay dry houston